a lot of our episodes you've probably seen this kind of pop up a few times mainly when we went to plain crazy build days oshkosh air adventure and even a couple fun bomb drop challenges today we're going to do something that really goes back in time to when we were flying with peter shreeple and we are going to go ahead and drop an airplane out of it not just any airplane one of our easies all right so this is what we have to work with this is our made to order tubby b17 that's hopefully going to come out in the very near future matter of fact i'm even putting the final touches on it but if you remember our classic b17 it has a huge bomb bay way bigger than the scale models our MTO is even bigger. So this is the area that we have to work with. And the cool thing is, a lot of our easy models should easily be able to fit in there with a little bit of modification. Now looking at this huge bomb bay, I have an idea and there's an airplane that we really haven't pushed or shown you very much. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can make a folding wing similar to what Peter did with his Punjet that'll be able to fold on it. And the plan I'm gonna choose to do that with is a pterosaur. So this is our pterosaur here. It's basically a no-nonsense chuck lighter. It's kind of like a Radian mixed with a Dollar Tree chuck lighter. But the cool thing is it has all the electronics in it. And this plane can fly over 25 minutes. And the reason that we chose this was because it's super bendy. Matter of fact, I'm trying to see if this would fit. I don't even need to cut the wings off. I can actually bend it down in there and stick it in there. And as you can see here, with the wings bent, I'll be able to easily put the canopy right on there. But there's no way that this airplane's gonna be able to fall out with the wings just bent against the side. So what I need to do is come up with a 3D printed solution that can allow these wings to basically unfold in a moment's notice. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So what's your plan on uh, deciding where to cut this thing? Knowing that basically the elevator is the size that I needed here, I'm gonna go ahead and go just smaller, figuring that the uh, hinge is gonna need a little bit of room. So it's about three and three eighths. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to three inches right on this side here. And my hope is, is once I cut that, I'll trace the profile of the wing and um, make the hinge mechanism and just 3D print it. That way it'll be nice and light. Uh, this plane carries a ton of weight. It's actually almost, in my opinion, too light because it's so easy to catch a thermal and fly away. So a little extra weight won't hurt it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna cut at the three inch mark. And from that point, um, we're kind of committed. I do think it'd be fun to see if this would fly with stubby wings similar to what we had with the um, the Twin Otter. So I may go ahead and try that out before we uh, put it up in the air or make the mechanism. So a few months ago here, we actually took a Twin Otter and we kept chopping down the wings. So basically it ended up exactly like what we had here. The wing was the same size as the elevator. So there's no way we're gonna let this opportunity pass to see if this can do the same thing. Think it's gonna fly, Mike? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's fine. Should we just throw it off the thing or off the balcony? I think so. Okay. I wonder what will happen when you're gonna turn it then you're Cutting your thrust in half, basically. So many Oh, it's so bright. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Three, two. Oh my gosh. That's not right. <laughs> oh, God, Captain Ben. Oh, a little squirrely. A little squirrely. So there's no uh, dual rates on this. It turns pretty sharp this way, but it flew. All right, now we got to make the swing wings. He did, Jimmy. Okay, so we just finished flying this with stubby wings. I didn't think it would work. It worked fantastic. It's just a little hard to turn, a little more advanced to fly, but it still flew half throttle. That's so, <laughs> so I was going to go ahead and start <laughs> measuring this and 3D printing. And I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and tape this up and kind of see how the mechanism looks to work. I don't need to 3D print anything. I think I can literally just now tape a rubber band on here and here, and it'll it'll go like that. <laughs> I mean, look, at you don't even know it's, it's... You don't even know, look at that. You don't even yeah. know, dude. So it just goes boop. It's like it's meant to be. And these will fold just like this, and then boop. So I'm gonna find a rubber band. I'm gonna tape this on. I, I was thinking this is gonna take like a couple hours. You're like 15 minutes into this thing, so. Here we go, dude. Yeah, it's Let's gonna be fun. It. Simple saves the day. Simple, I know that's great. Yeah, I like great that. Line. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna make this one. I'm gonna make this pivot and we're gonna print it this way so we can do this. No. Boop. <laughs> Simple everyday common materials. I bet you we can get a ton of little throws. You guys gotta try this. Three inches, cut your, cut your pterosaur wing off. 
Cut your wing off and make a thing. Yeah, so my goal is to have you fly it. Okay. And there's still a ton of room in there. So I think we're gonna take our gremlin. We just got those PCB wayframes back. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the gremlin with the carbon fiber PCB wayframes. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and drop both of you at the same time. Got it. And then hopefully you'll recover and fly around and then Michael can kind of chase after you. And then I'll just fly my B-17. That's sweet. Okay. So he's gonna chase me yeah. while you're flying around us? Yes. Dude, that's cool. Oh. All right, this got a lot of work to do. It's gonna be at least another five minutes. <laughs> literally, we're charging the battery right now. Yes. And literally, the battery is gonna take longer to, to charge than to get this thing all finished up. Can I do the boop? Yeah, ready? Boop! <laughs> you know, That's kinda, amazing. I kind of want to like fold the wings and like throw it. Oh know? yes. But the, the only downside I think will happen will be is if we do that, it will just flop out too quickly. So like if you threw it to me, you mean? Yeah, like if I just went in. <laughs> Hold on, I don't know how to do this, ready? <laughs> dude, that's gonna work! That's gonna work, It's dude. totally gonna work. It's gonna right, work. Let's see if it fits in here. Yeah, that's obviously right. the main point here. Also, we can't have it get stuck. Yeah, I think it's gonna be just fine. Yeah? Cause look. Okay. I think Should we I, do a test? Yeah. Uh, Got it. I gotta give you guys. Okay. Ready? Ready? Set. Come out! See that rod there? You know yeah. what we'll do? We'll bend that rod so it's on the top and, and it it. flicks it out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we, know, we know those mechanisms right. work. So we're gonna have more engineering time in, into making sure okay. it slides out properly than anything else. So we got a little work to do on the engineering to make sure that this basically pops out. And at that point, we'll go and give it a run. Boom. So I'm getting this Carbon Guardian here ready because uh, we're getting ready to be dropped out of a plane with it. And it's super cool because we actually ordered this carbon frame from PCB Way because I wanted a more durable version just with me constantly chasing things and places I shouldn't be going. So it's super, super durable. Love to fly it. I mean, it's just an all around blast for anything slower or indoors. An amazing flyer. So we actually took the files for the Guardian and we sent it off the PCB way. In a week or so, we got it back, and I mean, it was absolutely beautiful. It was super cool how quick and easy everything was. Um, if you want to go ahead and try it yourself with a frame you're trying to design or nothing like that, go ahead and give it a shot. The link will be in the description for PCB way. So either have fun going out and trying to design your own frame and getting a sense of them, or just go check them out and see what they're all about. Now let's get dropped out of a plane. Sounds pretty faint, man. Stefan, where's your airplane? My airplane? Yeah. Right there, baby! Woohoo! It fits inside. <laughs> you got the biggest extremes. You got the most simple and small. And I don't think it's even complicated, but big. And four motors. So do us a favor here. The MTO B17 is gonna come out. The classic size tubby B17 has been incredibly popular. People are loving to build it. They're even used as club ships. The vision behind the MTO is to really have, if you have a group or a club that wants to have like a mascot that flies, it could drop tons of candy and have activities. This thing is aerobatic. It could drop stuff. It's just really functional. And it's a great opportunity to be able to get people involved in the hobby. So we're gonna have this out soon. Make sure you check out our newsletter. If you haven't already subscribed to it, do that. So you'll be updated on not only this, but many other things coming in the future. All right, you guys ready to load up? We are. Okay, so I think the first thing that's gonna go in is gonna be Michael's uh, gremlin quad. Which I absolutely love. Dude, it's awesome. So much fun. All right, I'm gonna plug you in, but we gotta hustle then, right? Yeah, because the VTX, VTX likes to get warm. It's a little bit toasty. All right. So I'm going? ready. <laughs> and then we got Flippy Flappy airplane. Which you turned into, I love how you turned it into a, a bow and arrow. Dude, yeah, basically, simplicity rules once again. It's just basically gonna slingshot out of there. And we just need the top. Yeah, right the top. The eyes. His eyeballs. I can't believe this guy is still it's alive. It's still in the air, dude. It the is crab so is so unbelievable. Okay, you ready to go up, guys? Yes, sir. I'll turn around here. I am oh, ready. Wait. Now the one's going that way. I guess I'll go that way. Okay, let's fly. Dude, back, your back tail wheels like on its side. Oh, dude, this <laughs> thing is, we have beat this up so badly. I love it, dude. How's your uh, video, Mike? Probably black, right? No, I can see. He says he can see my nose in my airplane. He's like, oh, it's right here. Oh, that's awesome. All right, we don't do no speaking around. Like, here we go, guys. Ready, set, go! <laughs> no wheels needed. All right. Come on over here, Jay Biggs. All right, sorry. Right there. 
course, I don't trim anything. <laughs> How high are you? He's probably I, I what, wanna, 150, 150 feet? Yeah, I want to go about this height. And I'm going to go ahead and drop it like right over top of us. Okay. All you right, guys, are you ready? I'm ready. In five, four, three, two, one. Bye-bye. Do the words! Yeah, I'm I did not work. <laughs> oh Michael my work. goodness, dude. dude. It would not Mike. let me arm. I went upside down, it was like, nope. Oh, no. Mike, Michael is currently in shambles. Oh, well now we get to stress test the, the uh, Guardian there. Are you Stephen. flying, Stefan? Yeah, I'm right here. All right, well that was a main goal, so at least we got that. Dude, I love this heavy guy. <laughs> it's still so light, it like lifts up. There we go. I'm gonna land it here. Oh, look at you go, man. <laughs> Having just a fun. It's right there, though. It's a fun time. Oh, oh man. Okay. This couldn't okay. get back with the wind. It's all right. <laughs> all right, well, let's go check out the damage. Yes. All right. Well, it's a good stress test. I <laughs> did. That hit the, and this is not, no. we have not had a lot of rain it or is, water. It's brown for a reason. The only thing it did is it launched our little Insta360 and it broke our little O-ring uh, strap. So that's not too bad. That's, wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. So I guess in hindsight, you know, quads like the arm when they're sitting still and not being like bounced around. That's fair. That's cool. fair shot. Okay, perfect. Well, Noah, do you want to go for round two or? Yeah. All right, let's go for round two. What do you say you grab your other quad and just chase us? That sounds good. All right, done. That's a great sound, too. If this, that's the spirit animal sound of the Cubby B-17. It's to say, kill me, kill me. We've we've taken it all over the place. We've shot it with paintballs and fireworks, and <laughs> it's still alive. It still lives and breathes to this day. Come on, guys. Just let me be. <laughs> Bad people. Just let me live. All right. <laughs> My life All in right. peace. So we're going to go for round two. This time, you know, fatal flaw in our logic was Michael can't arm. <laughs> And that's okay. <laughs> Failed flaw. All right, round two. All right. We actually put the battery a little bit ass CG uh, yes. because these guys kind of act as spoilers. So we want a little bit more of a angle of attack here. Yes. So. We're not lacking on power. We just need a little bit more capability. Now this concept will probably not only work for the Pterosaur, but I bet you it'll work for a lot of our easy models. I think, I think you're so, right. Yep, uh, piece, piece of tape and rubber band. Next video coming soon. <laughs> yes. Okay. Part, part two. So. All right, want to give me a countdown? In three, two, one, and roll it! Whee! Roll that beautiful bean footage or that B17. Talk about a gentle giant. Dude, she is awesome. Oh. Michael, are you locked in? I'll let you get on my tail end here. Oh, I can't quite on quite good enough signal, but I can see you. Alright, kind of. I'm ready. Alright, you ready, Mike? Yep. Three, two, one, and launch. There it goes! Dude, that, I can do this all day! Oh my goodness, dude. Where you at? I'm above you. You're a blue plane on a blue sky. It's beautiful. You see me? No. Okay, I'm a little bit above you, maybe. I'm just, I'm like right below you now. I'm over by Noah and us. Above, above us, like 60 feet. Michael, you're <laughs> I'm, I'm chasing Michael. All right, up. All right, look now, to your left. Look to your left. Oh, he's got him. He's got oh, him. He's got me. He's got me. I was actually taking off my goggles and looking for myself. I saw that. <laughs> oh, he's got me. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, I'm dead battery. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we get to check the damage again. <laughs> that was amazing. All right, I'll be, I'm going to do a little towards final here. All right. At least I got chased for a second. Yeah. Dude, that was awesome. I don't know, I didn't really slide it. Dude, it's really hard to bring this down. Yeah. Now there's a really cool sale going on right now. These are normally $39. It's on sale right now for $24.99. And remember, you spend over $200 on our flight test store, you'll Come actually down. get free shipping. <laughs> so if you get any kind of starter bundle or anything that takes you close to that $200 mark, you can add that into your cart and basically pay $24.99. Save a bunch of money. Yes, sir. So uh, check Boom. that out in the store. And uh, that was cool. That was awesome. We have to, again, go check uh, Michael's squad. <laughs> <laughs> but this worked out flawlessly. Yes. Uh, very simple, guys. A piece of tape, a piece of rubber band, and about 15 minutes. And you probably can make almost any easy holding weight. That's right. All right. See you next time. <laughs>